So this past weekend was Christmas here where we live in Western Maryland. It got down to nine below zero and the wind was blowing. I don't even know how hard, but it was blowing hard, hard. Um, this is the first that we've been in our little cattle panel tunnel since, since the weather changed. And we're gonna walk in and see how bad it is in there, see what the damage is. I, I looked in, but she opened it up today when I was at work, so she knows more about it than I do. But uh, so we're gonna walk in here, but first things first, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Um, there's lots of videos about greenhouse, greenhouses, chickens, gardens, all kind of videos. So if anybody wants to learn anything about that stuff, just go ahead and click subscribe and follow along with our journey and like us if you if you would. So let's walk in here and see how things are growing. So as you can see, we grow in the ground here. Like I said, it was nine below, nine below this past weekend, Saturday morning, Christmas Eve morning when I got up, it was minus nine. Um, as you can see, the kales, the kales weathered pretty good. They'll be, they'll be just fine, but we had row cover on. This side here had lighter row cover. This other side had heavier row cover. We probably should have had that swapped around, but that's all right, I'll get to that in a minute. Swiss yard, it wouldn't have mattered what we put on it, it wouldn't have made it. I thought it would probably grow, and it would have if we hadn't had that really cold snap. It, it, it's dead, so it is whatever. Spinach, it didn't hurt it, none, it don't look like. It'll probably come back, probably just fine. Um, lettuces, some of those may come back, some of them definitely aren't gonna come back. But all in all, it don't look bad. I'm kinda surprised how good the how good the lettuce is looking, actually. I'm, I'm very impressed with how good the lettuce looks onions they look pretty good um there's nothing wrong with the onions at all looks like some mice was in there eating on the tops but we knew they had we had issues with those that's why the traps were sitting around what kind of caught me off guard was the mustard greens i would have never dreamt they would have stayed as good as they are i'm very surprised how green they still are how nice they look the endive here it it did fine too which naturally it's not going to die anyhow you could probably put that outside that wouldn't have killed in any and this over here's kale mix um it did all right some of them did good some of them didn't do quite as good but all in all it turned out all right so i can't complain i mean this little little 200 dollar greenhouse did pretty good for us so i can't really complain too much about it um i'm quite happy with how it looks I wish the lettuce would have held out better than it did, but it'll come back. I'm not too concerned about it. In a week or two, it'll come back and you'll not notice it was messed up. So that's how this that's how this turned out. If you want to see how we built this, I'll put a link below to how we built this greenhouse. Um, we grow tomatoes in here in the summer, and spring and summer. We grew in this side and on this side we grew um, ginger and turmeric. And we had a couple, couple uh, cucumber plants growing in here. So they did really good, but you can see all in videos if you if you follow along and like us. So um, that's going to wrap this video up, short and sweet and to the point. So until we meet again, take care and God bless.